Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do or we will discuss how to find the zeros of a quadratic function. So by the way, uh, the zeros of the quadratic function f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c corresponds to the roots of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. In other words, it is just an easy way for us to do zeros of quadratic function because if you know how to solve a quadratic equation, you can get or you can easily get the zeros of a quadratic function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So you have here example number one in which sabi dito, solve for the zeros of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. So first, basically you need to copy the given quadratic function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. So another thing or next thing you need to do is to change f of x as 0. Again, the next step is to change f of x b equal to 0. Because our target here is to convert this as quadratic equation. So you have how you have now 0 is equal to x squared minus 10x sorry minus 7x plus 10. And then by reflexive property we can rearrange our equation as x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. And now, as you can see, you have now the quadratic equation. And you need to think whether you need, you're going to use factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula. But, kung mano notice nyo, this equation is factorable. And the factors of this equation are x minus 5 and then x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So when you multiply negative 5 by negative 2, that is positive 10. And when you add negative 5 and negative 2, that will give you negative 7. So these are the correct factors. Then after that, you need to equate each factor by 0. You have x minus 5 is equal to 0. And then x minus 2 is equal to 0 because we need to solve for the value of x. So you have x is equal to 5. And then x is equal to 2. How come na naging 5 and 2? So we have here negative 5. When you transpose negative 5 to the other side of the equation, that will give you positive 5. Same with negative 2. When you transpose it to the other side of the equation, it will become positive. And right now, these are the zeros of the function. The zeros of f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10 are 5 or 2. Again, the zeros of a quadratic function are the solution or the values of the variable in a quadratic equation. So now, for you to master the given steps on how to do it, Let's move on to example number two. In example number two, you have here the problem, find the zeros of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 9x plus 20. So first thing you need to do is to convert or transform f of x be equal to 0, kaya natin 0 yan. And then you have x squared minus 9x plus 20. Then you can rearrange your equation. You have x squared minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now you will think of the factors of this trinomial. The factors are x minus 5 then x minus 4 is equal to 0 because this one is positive so we need to assume 
that the signs of the factors of 20 are the same because it is positive. And then look at the sign of your middle term. Since that is negative, so I will use two negative numbers. Okay? So, are we clear with that? Check natin kung tama tayo. When you multiply negative 5 by negative 4, it will give you positive 20. But when you add negative 5 and negative 4, it will give you negative 9. So, the factors are correct. Okay? So, after this, after factoring out the whole equation, you need to equate each factor by 0. So, you have here x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, after that, solve for the variable x. So, transpose natin to sa kabila. It will give you x is equal to 5. The first zero of the function is 5. And then, for this side of the equation, we need to transpose negative 4. That will give you x is equal to 4. And, ta-da! That's it. The value of x or the zeros of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 and x plus 20 are 5 and 4. So that's it. I hope now you can still remember the step on how to do it. And hopefully, I helped you with this kind of topic. Shout out nga pala sa mga nanonood ng ating videos, sa mga patuloy na sumusporta, pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Again, if bago lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para update sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.